low square, but in this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Acer Predator, i7 10 Gen and RTS graphics. Now, uh, the, the job is coming from a computer business. They send the battery also, and we have their email. Gaming laptop not turning on, battery taken, not working off charger. Not sure what that means, but I'm assuming they bought a new battery and the laptop still not working. Pressing the power button, dead. I will say before we are plugging the power, actually there are no screws here. Okay, let's open the laptop. And the laptop is open. Yeah, it's a classic Acer Nitro. Acer Predator, Helios, yeah, a classic motherboard. So what we are doing, or so what we are checking first, first we are checking the main power rail. The main power rail, you have first MOSFET here, second, not sure if you can see. And then we have the current sensors, okay? And on the current sensors, we have zero ohms like usual. <laughs> I was about to swear, you know, the main power rail is shorted. Anyway. I think we should uh, take out the heatsink because most likely whatever is shorted is shorted here. Now this job can have like a good outcome because the main power rail, you've seen that, was exactly like zero ohms if you've seen that on the multimeter. So uh, there is a small probability, but proper small, to be actually like a shorter capacitor. Very unlikely. And the heat sink is out. Now we're gonna come with the power supply. We need a solid ground. We need a thermal camera. We have like 1.8. Let's go down to 1 volt. Good. So we are coming with the power supply exactly on the current sensors here. Yeah. And it's taking like 4 amps, 4.1 with 1 volt. And what is getting hot, what is that? Wait a second. The CPU, right? No. Wait. Clearly the heat is on the other side of the board. But this is a proper good sign. You know what is on the other side of the board? What do you think? Because here you have the MOSFETs, you have the coils. You have some capacitors, but not that many. So most of the capacitors are on the other side of the board. So what do you think about that? Huh? So one said easy pizza? Hmm? Can be. Can be. It was about time for a easy pizza because I had in the last period of time I've had some crazy jumps. Crazy. But definitely this is a lucky customer. I mean if you look at the laptop, check here, you can see. I'm not sure if you can see. I mean the fan is proper clean. Yeah, the laptop is not like has a lot of dust. So that can make sense. So if you keep the laptop clean. <laughs> the, yeah, the most of it will not gonna die, but it will die probably a capacitor. So anyway, you will end up without the laptop. However, you look at it, which is um, which is actually good for you because you can have your laptop repair, so we can take your money. <laughs> of course, I'm just joking. Uh, this particular job is coming from a computer business and uh, with computer business I'm working like you know I'm charging like half price from a normal repair so yeah it's not a it's not a easy pizza it's actually a easy two pizza but yeah so on the other side of the board we have capacitors huh? where we are coming with the current so you can see here, but they are not fitted. It's supposed to be another MOSFET here, another one, then a current sensor, and then here is the main power rail, you can see it. And yeah, it's coming here. Yeah. So we can come with the current on the main power rail. And we can come anywhere. 
you know just scratching a little bit the uh, the truck like that and yeah, it is taking four amps <sighs> yeah let's wait what is that isn't that beautiful check that what is that so it's somewhere here yeah definitely i think i spotted let's check under the microscope do you think actually is this dirty capacitor i mean what is that you think actually the capacitor blow up let's use some alcohol good coming again we power on exactly the same spot It's taking four amps, but I can't see anything. Wait, I'm missing something. What is here somewhere? Power on, off, on, off. You know what? I can't see anything. On. Huh? I mean, not sure what's going on here. We can clearly see exactly here. Yeah, that capacitor, but we checked already. Here, one of these. I'm not sure which one. So I'm going to come with power again. You can see the alcohol spinning yeah so we have alcohol coming with current which one it is i mean this short is proper short right let's raise the current to five amps i can't i have to raise the voltage okay now it's five amps so which one it is we are pushing five amps right now Is this one or this one? Probably this one. I mean, this one is drier. Mm -hmm. Not sure about that. So we are pushing five amps and we can't see which capacitor it is. Probably this one. Okay, let's remove that capacitor. Say hello to my little friend. Nah, not this time. Let's be gentle. And the capacitor is removed. It's still short. Let's see. Nah, it's not short anymore. Huh? It's not short anymore. Yeah, so if we are coming now with current, same like before. So coming with current here. And it's taking nothing, check that. Nothing. No. No. Now we are working on a basis, no capacitor, no shorter capacitor. But if you love your customer, just, you know, replace the capacitor. You know what I mean, right? We had a video like a few weeks ago. So I replaced the capacitor and exactly the same capacitor died again. But like I said, you know, no capacitor, no shorter capacitor. Yeah. Anyways, nothing to worry about. Uh, of course, I'm going to replace the capacitor on our next video. I think uh, today we work enough. Hopefully I can make it for like 10 minutes video. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I seen on the past on the videos people are confused about the capacitors and I'm watching our discord and a lot of people they actually they don't want to fix it because they don't know what value has the capacitor I mean I'm trying to tell them you know just you know forget about that capacitor you don't have to replace it but no some people they want to replace it but they want to replace it with exactly same value and yeah so the capacitors, it's exactly the same one like with the cars, with the Euro, you know, emission standards. So it's not about 
a new car it will work better if they have uh, if they have like low emissions no it's they will, the probably the new car it will work actually it will work actually worse compared with one which doesn't have a catalyzer and uh, add blue and all that kind of stuff i mean from what i remember when i was doing uh, mechanics whatever you have on an exhaust it will lower your power the power output of the of the engine it doesn't matter if it's petrol or diesel and um, from my period where uh, you know i'm doing a lot of motorcycling that's the first thing what you do you change the exhaust of a motorcycle and it's not because not necessarily because of the power yeah the power it will go up but it's about the noise, yeah? You want the people from the traffic to hear you. You are more exposed if they cannot hear you, yeah. However, I will replace the thermal paste, but first I want just to, you know, check if it's working, if it's charging and all that kind of stuff. So on the same way, the laptops, they have to comply to the emission standard. It's exactly, that's the name, the emission standard. So they... They are checking the laptops to see what kind of the emissions are um, escaping from the laptop. And that's the reason why the capacitors are there. Otherwise, the laptop, it will not need capacitors. Because the whole motherboard, it's a big capacitor. So you have few layers, plus and minus, alternated, yeah? And the whole board is just a big capacitor. But yeah, there are people that are still uh, having radios, like uh, long wave radios. So let's say I'm, if I'm removing the whole capacitor from the motherboard, then, uh, you know, the, the switching, the switching from the, the switching frequency from the switching power supply can escape from the laptop and actually interfere with the long wave, long wave and even medium wave. Yeah. But for us, the repair people, it's a lot more risky to, let's say, soldering back a capacitor compared with what actually that capacitor it will accomplish good so everything is back in place can a motherboard die by replacing a capacitor yeah it happened it happened to me <laughs> yeah. so um not it was not a capacitor it was something else so i yeah and the, the layers of the board go shorted so it can happen so we plug the charger Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on, check there, check there, it's taking over two amps. And the laptop switched off because, yeah, because we reset the BIOS, yeah. 2.7 amps. Hopefully I have enough current, if I don't have enough current, maybe I should buy another power supply, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I still have the other power supply. And not sure what's going on, the laptop is shutting down. But I do have enough current. Huh? Let's plug the battery. It is possible. Um, you know, the current is going quick, quickly up and I can't see it on the power supply. For some reason. So plug in the battery. And the laptop is not charging. Huh? Because the battery is very discharged, or because our first MOSFET is shorted. What do you think? We need a multimeter. Uh, so, the first MOSFET, zero ohms. I can't believe. Check here, zero ohms. And the second one, the second one is good. Yeah, no easy pizza. So, we took the board out, and also now we have to replace a MOSFET. No, nah, that's no easy pizza. No. Nah. Far away to be a easy pizza. Okay, let's remove that MOSFET. Yeah, the fault it is related with the capacitor. The capacitor goes shorter, then the MOSFET goes shorter because too much current. Yeah. Uh, we do have spare MOSFETs, brand new, from my box. <laughs> No, actually, they are brand new. And the MOSFET is out. Good. Now, let's grab a MOSFET. No, really, I do have brand new MOSFETs here. Check that. And this is a proper one. More powerful compared with the one which was here. Good. 
So the MOSFET has to be like that. Perfect. Now let's solder the MOSFET. No rosin, of course. Rosin is expensive. Again. Perfect. Yeah, so the capacitor, it is solder on place. Good. So what about now? The laptop, it will charge, it will work. I'm still confused why the laptop shut down. So what's coming on then shutting down? It is, part, it is possible the laptop was shutting down because it was trying to take more current and the laptop was shorted. A shorted laptop, a, short, a shorted MOSFET, it will always forward less current compared with a good one. Yeah. Good. So we chill the board. Let's plug the battery. Battery is plugged and the charger. The charger is plugged. And nothing changed. Yeah, check there, check there. 600 milliamps. No? So probably that's the pre-charge current. Yeah, the battery it is charging. No, actually the battery is nearly fully charged. And uh, the battery was disconnected because the battery was shorted. So in order, in order to activate the battery, you have to plug the charger. But the charging circuit should be good. So if we are checking the battery now, which is supposed to have 17.6, checking the voltage on the battery, 16.5, you can see. So if we are unplugging the charger, and now we are checking the laptop, the laptop should come on and work on the battery only. So pressing the power button, fan is spinning, you can see the light there. There is no like a low battery, no. Let's wait for the picture, let's see. Yeah, the CPU is, uh, is getting hot. But what is the picture? The screen, it is plugged in, yeah. Why we have no picture? We have to wait more. That crazy sound, but now I'm expecting that sound. Uh, yeah, and we have picture. And it's loading the windows. So what do you think? Hmm? Working great? Let me shut down the laptop. No, I can't shut it down because it's loading the windows. But the battery is working. We have the fan here, and I can see some dust here. Yeah, dust. Dust is not good. Anyway, I have to take the heat sink to replace the thermal paste. But the laptop it is working. Cool. So by now, you should know how to diagnose Nitro, uh, Predator, and Helios. Helios 300, if I remember. Yeah. We made so many videos about this specific motherboard, yeah, not the laptop itself. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.